Hey guys, I'm Jamie Johnson, the Epic Home Theater Guy. Today we're going to talk about the Sioux BTF TN1 subwoofer. Is it better than the SVS? The VTF TN1 is the brainchild of MIT engineering graduate Dr. Shu, who is the founder of Shu Research, and maybe it's the pinnacle of his creations since starting the first online only subwoofer boutique shop back in 1991. Let's take a look at the TN1. You can't miss a TN1 when you walk in a room. It, it's big, it, it's a beast. It uh, wants to play, and it's made to fill a room of any size with a great deal of sound. Just tremendous sound. When you take a look at these subwoofers, uh, these 15 inch beauties are will thump. Their, their extension is something else and they will put out a great deal of sound. Let's take a look at its specifications. Uh, amplifier power of 600 watts is good, but not amazing. Low to end extension of 14 hertz and I've seen it going down to 10 hertz is amazing uh, anything below 20 hertz you're only feeling uh, you're not hearing it and it just rocks the room 15 inch uh, subwoofer it's big what this chart simply tells us is the subwoofer is very linear and uh, this curve is exactly what you want to see what this chart shows us is this Subwoofer has a tremendous amount of power and authority. Even at low base, it is just got a tremendous amount of control. As you can see, the TN1 is, has about the same dimensions as the Perlson D215, although costing six times less, and uh, about the same footprint of a 12 inch subwoofer enclosure, so it can fit in most any space. These massive four inch ports are, are one of the secrets to this great sound. With these port plugs, you can change it from one port, two port, or sealed sub. Over the last month, I've tested both movies and music, and here's a quick sample of some of the testing I've done. All testing was done with the Denon AVR z player, Outlaw amps, and Kef speakers. First up, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. In this movie, the TN1 really shined. Punch, rumble, room-shaking authority, just shaking the room. It was so much fun with every Godzilla footstep. Next up, Ready Player One. With this movie, every time the wrecking ball hit, it was just a punch to the chest in a good way and, and, and a lot of great movement and just a big wide sound stage just an impressive feel lots of shaking lots of authority lots of control last but not least the subwoofer killer edge of tomorrow this scene digs deep into the single digits just an amazing amount of effortless bass i'm feeling just rocking the room Quick word of warning if you were to buy this sub, you may need to make a small additional investment. My screen had a loud rattle and would shake as the VTF1 dug down into that deep infrasonic base. I had to add some felt pads to the back of the screen and tighten up some bolts on it to fix that problem. No other subs I've had in this room have ever shook the room so much that I've had to do this before. When it comes to which subwoofer is better between the SHU or the SVS, really it comes down to just a couple of things. One, what does your ear prefer? And two, what best meets your needs? So when we talk about what's better, what we're gonna really say is, what are things that we can quantifiably uh, say one is better than the other? And some of that is a little bit subjective, but um, I think as we look at it that way, we're gonna find which subwoofer is best for you. So when we look at subwoofers the best match the VTF TN1, the SVS PB2000 Pro is budget-wise the same at $1,200 a piece. The uh, size of it is 
a little bit smaller, 12 inches, but the uh, overall, it's the best match, uh, particularly because it's the exact same price. So when we stack the two of them side by side, uh, frequent response, how deep of base uh, subwoofer has, I would uh, give an edge uh, because the numbers uh, show it clearly. The VTF TN1 digs deeper output. Uh, that one much closer to the ear, uh, a little bit bigger output by the numbers. Transit response, I would uh, call it the same. Tightness, um, pretty much the same on those also. Authority, uh, TN1 in my, to my ear definitely had more authority. Distortion, both of them have very low distortion, uh, very clean. Uh, one with other speakers, uh, both will match up with most speakers very nicely. Design, that's a, a subjective thing as far as the look goes. I'm not looking at that. But design as far as uh, the material is used, the, the uh, quality of the paint, might give a slight edge to the TN1, but for this one, I uh, called it a push. Uh, Technology-wise, probably the biggest thing that the SVS PB2000 Pro has is it has an app that comes with it where you can do adjustments on most everything in very small detail where the uh, TN1 has uh, knob adjustments and uh, not as easy to make the adjustments and so uh, the 2000 Pro gets the edge there. Customer support, both companies are well known for excellent customer support. Uh, the TN1 gets on the warranty, uh, there's a two year longer warranty on the subwoofer uh, for the TN1 so it edges out the SVS PB2000 Pro there. So if you were to ask me, okay, so as a reviewer, which of these two subwoofers would I pick? I would uh, lean towards the shoe for sure. The uh, I don't really need an app um, on a regular basis, although it's nice to have. Other than that, uh, I just like the sound, the uh, musicality, the, the deepness of the bass, the authority that the uh, TN1 has. So some final thoughts on the BTF TN1 by Sue Research. It's a great subwoofer. It uh, has a massive amount of bass. It throws out a lot of big sound, really creates a massive sound stage. And that's true for both music and for home theater listening. Um, an example of that, when I uh, first hooked up the TN1, I, um, I, I cranked up a little bit. It, it, it was about high noon in the volume, but not super high. And uh, man, th that room was shaking like I, I've never seen it shake before, even after I left the room. And my uh, home theater is in a basement that's under a garage and it has two foot thick wall cement on all sides. And even when I left the room, the uh, glasses that were on the shelf just outside of the theater were literally rattling when I, when I was playing it. And, and I've never seen that with a subwoofer uh, before. Particularly at this price point. So for $1,200, I don't think you can find another subwoofer that would be even within 50% more and, and give you the same sort of visceral effect and quality sound and uh, great tools and ability to change uh, ports which can give you more power or, or tightness or deeper bass uh, depending on how you want to tune those ports by uh, filling the ports with the port plugs. Um, the size of it, um, I don't necessarily prefer the height of it, but I understand the height of it because what it does is it gives you a smaller footprint while still giving enough um, space within the box to create the kind of uh, visceral deep bass that you can get. The fact that the enclosure is so tall allows the ports to remain straight and they, they don't have to curve them, which can cause uh, some distortion and, and chuffing within the ports. And so uh, this, the size of it, if, if it's not an issue for you, it, it, it is a great enclosure that gives an effect that is unlike any that I've experienced before. The, um, the ports themselves, uh, four inches are big, and because of that, it causes less, less chuffing noise, 
and so they've been tuned to go really deep and um I, I, I can't say enough good things for the price point i mean you, you can get a better subwoofer and it'll probably cost you at least 50 percent more in some cases maybe a hundred percent more than what shoe is offering the subwoofer for at, at its current price um it, it's a value now i heard that they are on their last uh ones prior to tariffs and so that those prices may go up depending on what happens with tariffs We'll have to see how that happens. But when uh, Shu came out with this subwoofer, they actually dropped the price uh, over their previous flagship uh, subwoofer. And that's unheard of. So you get deeper bass, um, more power, um, smaller footprint for less money. And that's that's unheard. And, and that, that's the kind of thing that a Dr. Shu uh, can do because he's done this for so long and he's passionate about what he does. Um, that it, it's just a, a great experience. I, I thoroughly enjoyed testing this subwoofer out. I, I look forward to playing around with it some more. If you're a, a music lover, uh, the musicality is pretty good. It doesn't have the tightness of some uh, subwoofers, but it, it, it's still very good. I, music has been very enjoyable. One of the most enjoyable things I've had with this sub is when you're watching something that you've maybe seen or heard uh, dozens of times, such as a TV commercial or a song, and all of a sudden it hits that deep bass uh, part of, of the commercial, and it just goes a little deeper. It just digs harder than anything that you've heard before. And you're like, oh, okay, that's what we're doing. All right. So just a wonderful experience. One last uh, quick example. So there's this great scene in The Quiet Place 2 where the monster uh, makes this loud bang sound and then it immediately transitions to the deaf girl and all you can hear is this very subtle, nuanced, deep heartbeat that's going. And there was a lot of articulation within that sound that the, the suburb was able to do. But how it was able to go from this immediate bang to immediate silence without any flub uh, really was impressive. I, I recommend giving TN1 a try and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've liked this video just give it a little quick like and uh, that helps others uh, to have the opportunity to watch it and helps with YouTube's algorithm. Uh, thanks for listening and appreciate your time.